<clears throat> How do you say goodbye to a man like John S. Venture, Jr.? The way Chairman touched so many lives and packed so much living into his short time on Terra Farma. Mm. They say that Probably not what J.J. had in mind when he asked to be buried on this spot. Not that there was anything to bury. <laughs> oh, stop. You didn't even know him. I let you down! <laughs> yeah, you did. I know how much the little fellow meant to you, young Dean. And that is why, against my better judgment and at great personal risk, I decided to use all of my mystical powers to save him. Still seeing spots. Anywho, before the chairman took me in, I was lost. Literally lost at sea in the officer gasso. And whenever we lost a crew member, We'd send him off proper with an old pirate dirge. Once there was this kid. He got into an accident and he couldn't come to school again. He finally came back. His hair. Had turned from black into bright white. What? what the hell? Is that the crash test dummies? Good God, you've got to be kidding me. What? Was this one of JJ's last wishes, too? Uh, according to his last will and testament, I'm afraid so, yes. Show a little respect, huh? Not today. We're not arching. I'm just taking up my rental car. Sorry for your loss. Hey, is it, is it cool if we use your electric fence for a jump? <sighs> All right, make it quick. Oh, come on, really? I don't know what the hell you're singing about. Did you forget we're all homeless now? Ah, oh, you needn't worry about that, Dr. Venture. Your brother's will has made allotments. Let me guess. He's regifting me Spider Skull Island? No, I'm afraid Ms. Impossible gets the island as well as a rather generous inheritance. Great. What's left? The boat? Bob, only the multi billion dollar Venture Techno Industries Corporation and its various subsidiaries and its brand new headquarters in New York. 